to Creative Glam. My name is Sharon. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Today on Creative Glam, I'm participating in a collaboration. And this collaboration is called the Decorative Box in Purpose Use. This collaboration is being hosted by Sharon, she's so fabulous. If you haven't seen her channel, you're probably new to YouTube. It's been a while since I participated in a collaboration with Sharon. Um, it was a couple years ago. There was a tablescape collaboration that she hosted. It was lots of fun, and I'm sure today will be no different. So I will leave a link down below in the description box. Go by and check her out. I will also leave a link to the playlist of all the other content creators participating in this collaboration. The, co the details of this collaboration was that we were to share the number of decorative boxes that we have, where we got them from, and what's in them. So, I don't have a lot, but I'll share with you the ones that I have. Let's get started. Oh, but before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button below, along with the notification bell. Hit the notification bell twice, so that you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Here on Creative Glam, I share home decor, DIYs, travel, food, and life and style. So make sure if you haven't subscribed yet, do that. Hit that subscribe button and join the Creative Glam team. Now, let me share with you my decorative boxes. These are the decorative boxes that I believe Sharon was speaking about. I only have four. Two of them I purchased and two of them I made. And if you're referring to the ones like these, the paper type of boxes that you can get um, at Michael's, and that's where I got these from, um, I have tons of these for storage. Now these all have things in them. The let's go to Paris theme. And um, I don't know if this is what she was speaking of or not. I had so much fun in Paris that I purchased um, a lot of Paris paraphernalia. And in these type boxes, this is probably the smallest of the ones that I have. I have several large ones and I have a few of them that are about this size, but I believe this is the smallest one that I have. And inside of it, I keep my craft stuff. And here is a bunch of washi tape, as you can see. Um, so that's pretty much what I keep in these type boxes. Um, I do use them for storage. When I make my greeting cards and when I do my plan with me's, this is my go-to spot for my washi tape. So that's what I use these for. I have another one that I use for decorative paper. I have another one that I use for DIY greeting cards that I created. I have one that I hold that holds gems and jewels and beads. I have another one that holds stickers and um, foam tape. Um, I have another one that holds ribbons. So again, these are these decorative boxes that are Paris themed hold my craft supplies. These are decorative boxes that I purchased. And I purchased this one here on top from Home Goods. I've had it for quite a while. Um, I purchased this box from Home Goods. I don't usually keep anything in these. These are really usually just for display. But in this particular box, oh, I still have the tick tick. What is this? The tag in there. Um, the Cynthia Rowley collection from Home Goods. I only keep in here one item, and that is a compact mirror. And this compact mirror uh, is special to me. I got this from my mom. Uh, my mom has passed away, and um, this is just something that made me think of her. She used it in church. And um, so it was passed down to me. My dad gave it to me, and I keep it, and I keep it in here and it sits on the shelf in my bedroom and uh, there's nothing else in here except my mother's compact. So I've never used it for anything else. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a special little box, it's pretty. And when I look at it, I think of my mom. I don't remember what I pay. Oh, look, the tag is still on it. I pay $16.99 <laughs> from Home Goods. So yeah, so that's what. And this one here, I believe I got this one from, I believe I got this from Ross. Do I have a tag on the bottom? No, no tag or anything. I've had this one for quite a while too. Um, I got this one, I believe I got it from Ross. 
and I don't remember how much I paid for it. It was probably about the same price as that one there, somewhere between uh, 15 and $20. Um, there's nothing in it. I don't usually keep anything in it, that little bead there. Um, I just stuck it in there just to have something in it. <laughs> but there's nothing in it. it. It's display that sits on the bookshelf here in my office. Um, it's beautiful. I got it for the jade color. I love that. And it goes with the decor that's currently in the, the, the color scheme that's currently in my office. So that's pretty much it. I, I use these boxes, I will have to say, decoratively. They sit closed, usually, not open. And I guess I just never felt the need to put anything in it because they're closed. And I don't use them for storage. These two here, I made. I created these two um, boxes myself. I participated in a collaboration called the Look for Less with the Latina Next Door. I will link that video up above if you haven't seen it. She does, um, I don't know if it's monthly or quarterly, but she does um, collaborations, um, recurring collaborations where you are to find something decorative and dupe it for less. Well, I found these boxes, these were at Z Gallery. And I recreated these boxes based on what I had seen of some boxes at Z Gallery and I created them myself. There is absolutely nothing inside these boxes. If you've seen uh, shots in my office, you've seen these boxes featured again on the bookshelf, uh, featured on the bookshelf in my office, but they are empty. There is nothing in them and there probably won't ever be anything in them. Again, I don't use them for storage. I use them for decor. Check out the video and you'll find out how much it cost me to make these two boxes. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, I, oh, and this here is just a box that, uh, that's just a box that uh, I had a Joe Malone candle in. Um, I purchased this in London. Um, when I went to London, that's in a travel video. Check out my travel video to London and you will see this box where I picked up the candle at, um, I believe I was in Harrods when we picked up this. I don't think there's anything in it. Oh, matches. Matches for the candle. And that's it, guys. We're all done. As I said earlier, I only have four decorative boxes and quite a few of the other paper type boxes that I got from Michaels that house my craft supplies. The other four are just decorative, other than the very sentimental one here, sentimental and extremely personal, that holds my mother's compact. in my video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit the notification bell twice so that you'll be notified when I upload a new video. If you enjoyed it, and I sure hope that you did, leave me a comment down below and give me a thumbs up. And I want to thank Sharon She's So Fabulous for inviting me to participate in the decorative box purpose and use. And now that you finish, now that you finish watching my video, look down in the description box. I have other videos listed there that you may be interested in. Check those out too. But make sure you click the link to the playlist so that you can see the other videos of the content creators that participated in this collaboration as well. And with that being said, you have a blessed day. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.